Hello, hello everybody. Um, I'm Carrie from Mountain Gal Creations, here to make something all unique and a creep for y'all. Um, give me just a second. I went early, kind of a minute or so early, so I can um, share my video on to my page, Mountain Gal Creations, and a couple other places. So bear with me just a second while I get that done. Um, let's see. Plus, let me go in on my page and post it there. Alright, as you come in, tell me hello. Sorry, you're all just kind of like seeing my hat, but like I said, I'm trying to post this a couple different places. Get some more people in here. Okay, I think I got it now. Go back to my own personal page here. All right. Plus, let me share it on my own page. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness. All right, so let me bring this up here. That way I can see your all's comments. I can see them somewhat on the computer, but I like to use my phone. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera, but okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I see a couple of new people watching. Okay, me anyway. All right, at least I've not noticed the names. All right, so this evening we're going to use the large board, the large flower board. Hello, Stephanie from West Virginia. West Virginia gal here too, living in Vermont. Um, but this is kind of what I've come up with so far. Um, I put it on here just kind of see what it would look like if i like the flow of it and i'm pretty sure i do so again this is the large board and we are going to use this sign from rough river reese i got it off of etsy as soon as i seen it i fell in love with it i think this is like my favorite holy family sign that I've seen yet like I just I love it I think it's so pretty so and of course I've already put my table mounts on with some E6000 and a little bit of Gorilla super glue um, I'm also going to use this mesh it's a snow drift mesh um, the number is, I put it in the post, but you can get it at Unique in a Creek. Um, it's RY810248 is that. So, I'll show you how pretty that stuff is. Here it is without doing the pedal, but I like the snow drift mesh. Um, I'm also going to be using this cedar um pick it's from hobby lobby in their christmas section um I, you can get it and then just like take off each branch because there's a lot on here all you gotta do is just take it apart from the main stem um i think i'll probably end up using one maybe maybe a little over one not sure just yet because i just now doing it with you all other than, you know, pre-making and making sure it looked good. Because I waited till the last minute to do this, of course. Um, as several of y'all knows in West Virginia, um, I went for a craft show, which ended up doing really good. And then while I was there, I had a death in the family. So kind of good, kind of bad trip and kind of worried about a lot of things. But they're all taken care of. So I'm also going to be using this one and a half inch blue ribbon because I thought it 
match the sun pretty well. So I got that and it is RG127865 for that one. And I got this one here from Michael's on there after Christmas where you get like buy two and get I don't know like five free or some odd thing but I always grab stuff that I know I can use you know throughout the year like you can use this for just about anything really so this was a, a Michaels one and a half inch it's just like a see-through gold sparkly mesh and I'm also gonna use this shiny gold one and a half inch so, um, and the number for it is RGC129308. And the ribbons are all cut at 14 inches. Thank you all. I'm just, uh, anyway. <laughs> um, let's see, was there anything else I left out? I don't think so. Because I was wanting to keep it simple. Because um, it's such a pretty sign. So I did do up a few pieces of the ribbon and of course the mesh early. Um, so let's see, I think that's, let's see it. So I will bring you down that way you all can see. I'm just gonna do like the regular ruffle method for this. So um, I'll bring you all down and we can get started. So, wait for this. There we go. All right. Thank you, guys. They still got a little bit of a ways to go. So, all right. So, this is actually 10 and a half inches this way. And I cut it 20 inches long. And um, thank you, Mama Jean. So, I was questioned last time because, you know, always done the ruffle method this way but in all actuality I found out it works a lot easier if you do it this way so just curl up you already have a little bit of a start and then just go right up the middle because so I was questioned on if you could do it uh, fold side up instead of fold side down or curl side down instead of curl side up thank you for sprinkling so then you got your little bow tie so all i'm gonna do is just bring it around because i'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of these i already have some made up but i'll do a couple to show you what i'm doing and for these we're gonna bring them up i'd like to put a zip tie around them because by the time i try and get it on the board and get it zip tied up the middle wants to shoot out on me so i'm going to go ahead and zip tie it that way, I don't have to worry about the middle coming loose, even while it's on the board. So, there's that. I'll just cut the zip tie off. Then I just like to kind of mess with it a little bit. Make sure your rough edges are pointed down, which when you, you know, curl it, they should be down. So, there's one. Go ahead and do another one and then we will get started on the board. Hello, hello. So we are going to go curl side up. Like I said, I cut these 20 inches long. You will end up needing a total of 16 pieces. You will use right at a roll of mesh. Not quite a whole roll, but right at it. So again, I'm going to zip tie it. What part of West Virginia am I from? Nicholas County. Art of West Virginia. Hello, Lori. Hello, Sharon. Okay, so there's 
guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get our board. Bring it down here. All right. Um, actually, no, because the nub here is too big for the rubber bands. I mean, you can try, but I kept breaking them. So I either use a six inch or you can go to, I think, um, is it, I think Dollar Tree has like the little four inch zip ties for like a buck and a quarter. So um, you can grab those and use them. Um, I think even Walmart has them for a mere nothing. Um, so I use those a good bit of the time. Today I'm using the long ones just because I don't have too many of the littler ones. And I don't know when I'll go and get some of the others. So um, that's why I'm using my long ones. But you can use the little four inch ones. And they work perfect. So, oh yes, I know exactly where those places are. Drive right through Clarksburg to come to Vermont. So, all right. So I got this and I also, I kind of alternated um, my ribbon. On one of them, I have the gold on the inside, the, you know, solid gold. Then on the next one, I put the blue on the inside just to kind of change it up and get it, you know, a little more pizzazz so to say texture whatever you want to call it so it is um a little different so i already got my ribbon pieces cut and i cut them at 14 inches long so i'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the blue so we need the gold in the middle so i'm gonna put the gold right just about a quarter of an inch over the blue one, or a good guide is the straight edge goes into the dovetail, right over to the dovetail of the blue one. You can do it that way. So then I just take the mesh one and just kind of put it right in the middle of both of those. Don't have to be exact, but just fold it over. Usually I use only two ribbons for this, but I like the mesh and I wanted to give it like a little bit more of a texture, pizzazz, whatever you want to call it. So then just take it, scrunch them, you fold them over to find the middle and just bring it around and bring it to your V, so to say. Make sure they're even, and they pretty much are. Then I'll just take a rubber band and just put it around, make our little nubby. Where we can just slide it in our zip tie. All right, so there's that, you can see one gold ribbon it's shiny but then this is like kind of a different color of gold and it's just glittery and all that okay so let me move these couple of mesh pieces that i have and again like i told you i got the little cedar branch from hobby lobby in the christmas section all i'm gonna do is just pop that right off of there and i'm just gonna take it I usually try and look and see what side I like best, and I kind of like that side better. All right, I'm gonna slide the board down. I'm gonna get our piece of mesh. Just kind of, mm, excuse me, just kind of work it in, and I'm using every other set of holes. So I'm gonna put this in here, and I'm just gonna kind of work this end of the mesh over top of the other but under the ribbon of that one i kind of like to do it as i go that way i'm not doing it all and going back and using a million zip ties on this because you will use a million zip ties for this so it's best to try and do it all at once 
So I'm just gonna try and fan this out a little bit, our ruffle. A little easier to do once we get everything zip tied, but. All right, and like I said, since I put blue in the middle on the last one, we're done the gold, put it in the middle on this one. So I'm just gonna lay it right on top and that's already almost two inches thick there because of how thick the mesh ends up getting. And then I'm just gonna take our piece of cedar and I'll lay it down there. And bring our zip tie over and zip tie it all in at once, hopefully. Sometimes I'll do the mesh, zip tie it in first, and then do the ribbon and the um, uh, like my pick pieces, whatever I choose to use. Sometimes I'll do them together and then do the mesh by itself. But I'm trying to do all three. As I tell y'all, i um, got little hands, so it's kind of hard to get everything grabbed all at once for me. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We're going to get this going. So I already got some ribbon pieces, so I'm just going to kind of trick it along here. Putting these in. And then I'll do a couple more of um, the mesh pieces here in just a few. Okay, so I done gold last time. We're gonna do blue this time. So, ooh, Marshall County, Glendale. I'm from Nicholas County. So, all right. And there's that. And again, just take a little tough, but just pull your cedar piece off. Get it all lined up on here. And Cozy and only zip tie, and always pull it, make sure you get it good and tight. No, this is the large board. Using the large. I thought about using the small board, but I was like, nah. Let's go ahead and use the large one. Get our ribbons fluked out here. Let's go on to our next one. Let's see, that was a blue. So we'll grab gold. Of course, I didn't even realize it till just now, but blue and gold is West Virginia Mountaineer colors. Uh, let's see your piece. So there's our cedar. Get our ruffle, which I cut at 20 inches. Get it on here and then I'll fix the rough edge there that's kind of peeking out. That a little too tight. It'll be all right. All right. Let me just get in here. Just spread that ruffle out right over top of the previous one. And then I'm just going to kind of spread this one out to the bottom here. Okay. 
it's not really doing this. Okay. All right, so I'll grab some mesh. So you want to know? Yes, it's three ribbons. Three one and a half inch ribbons cut at 14 inches. Okay, so again, this is snowdrift mesh. And I'm just going to do curl side down and I'm just going to do the ruffle, which you just kind of accordion it right up this side. You can look at a line on here and just kind of scrunch it by that or then once you get to the end, make sure that the cut edge, uh, let me cut that again here. But the cut edge is down. So there's that. And all I'm gonna do is bring it around. And like I said, with it being 20 inches, uniqueinacreek.com, they should, um, well, actually, um, UK, oh, crackers, y'all, what is um, Anna's, uh, oh, I can't think of her shop there in UK. Yeah, for the boards, um, she sells them too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, it'll come to me, hold on. Or what? Somebody else will probably beat me to it. Crackers. I can't think of her. She does mesh and the boards. Oh my goodness. Come on, y'all. Some of my unique and accrete VIPs. Nina, do you remember Regina? What is um, Anna from UK, her shop over there? She sells the unique and accrete boards. I cannot think of it right now. I need to write it down. Ah, I know it's simple. I can't think of it. If we can't figure it out by the time the end of the live, I will um, look it up and put it in the comments for you, surely. I can't think of the name. All right, this got too many. things sticking out for me. So there's all that. No, it's not Irish Maids. Um, oh my gosh. I wish Tina Kelly was on here. Can't think of it. Like I said, I will find it after the live. Um, okay, like that side. And I will post it in the comments. Luscious Lobbies. I don't think it's lollies. I think it's Luscious Lobbies. Um, Luscious Lobbies, I believe is the name of it. So put that in your um, uh, search bar and you should find it, surely. I think it's Luscious Lobby. I feel bad. I used to know it right off, but I just, I don't know. My mom just had a brain fart, but I think that is the name of it, Luscious Lobbies. But she also carries the board. Unique kind of create boards. Plus she has mesh and ribbons too, I believe. And I don't know why I can't think of her name. <laughs> We used to know it by heart because we'd have all kinds of people asking. Okay. So 
like I said, just kind of spread that out a little bit. The rough edges are facing down, which they are. So there's that. Make one more real quick. Okay, it is luscious lobby. All right, thank you, Nina. Thank you all. I knew we'd get it figured out eventually. Like I said, 10.5, cut it 20 inches, just down the ruffle. And then I'm just bringing it around. And I'm going to zip tie. Because like I said, by the time I get it over there to the board, try to get the ribbon and all that in place, the middle wants to come out on me where you fold it. So, so I'll just do this and make my nub. All right. I mean, it's so much easier. Okay, so I need a gold ribbon that's in the middle. And then I'll show you all the ribbon too, how I've done it here in a minute. All right, so one stem will do all eight pieces that we're doing. So it'll take two stems of the Cypher picks from Hobby Lobby. Because we're also going to do eight pieces in the next row. Because I'm using, I forgot to tell y'all, huh? Oh my goodness, my brain. Using row five or two, and then we'll use row three. I always want to start five and go in for some reason. I don't know why, but my brain just, I don't know what it wants to do. So I'm doing that in for some reason. Okay. I got my sign from Rough River Reese on Etsy. All right, again, take our piece in here. This side I'm going to tuck under this one. This side's going to go over. Oh, grab my thing. This one's going to go over that one, under this one. I'm going to stick that in there and then grab our cedar and zip tie it in, y'all. Okay. Grab this. I'm doing good, Nancy. How are you? <laughs> ah, you ain't too late. And you'll definitely get caught up by me showing how to do it. So you're good. So I think we got all that. I might go back and mess with the ribbons and stuff here in a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and continue on the next row, which is, what did I say, row three. Shoo, I'm going to go ahead and load the board, load them open. Now, you see me use the flower board? Yeah, I do um, use it. My favorite is the rail board, but I do use the other boards. Last time I used the oval board. So, and this one, we're going to use every set of paired holes, and there should be eight. Whereas on um, row five, we used every other pair of holes 
And it's just easier for me to load this from the back, y'all. So. Well, hello, Amanda. All right. So. Put that in here. Ah. Grabbing my ribbon there. Bringing it with me. I have nothing else if y'all remind me at the end I'll um turn the board over so y'all can kind of see the back too. But for now we're going to load these open. Thank you. I hope it's going to be pretty too. I'm liking them anyway. <laughs> All right. Last one, guys. Okay. So there's that. And again, we'll just go ahead and continue with our pieces that's already made for now. Um, Let's see, let's go in the middle. Oh, it don't matter what we start with, so I'll just grab one of the blue that's in the middle first. Alright. And it's gonna get a little crowded in here. It's gonna be a little rougher to Get things kind of spread out to lay like you want. Make sure them rough edges ain't showing. Because we went ahead and put these in. You can do them now or you can wait. Do it one at a time, but for me, since we're on here, <laughs> I don't want to take all day, so I went ahead and loaded them so um let me grab one of the cedar pieces should have done that beforehand but oh well all right so grab our ribbon uh -oh. did i do that right i am using or did i go down one oh no Hold on, I might be telling y'all wrong. Gee, my knees. Let's see. Do I want to do that one? And then do our sign. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, y'all. I think I just told you wrong because I think that's going to cover up too much of that one. Oh my goodness, I hear it all. It's down there. Hold on, let me. Hmm. I did do it wrong. Oh my goodness, okay. I should have wrote this down. That's what I should have done. Okay. Shoo, my lanta. I'll get there here in a minute. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, y'all. Had a brain fart? Or did I do it? Okay. All right. Erase what I just said about putting it on row <laughs> three. We're actually going to go to row four. And we are going to use not the paired holes, but the holes that's got the distance between them. And it'll be eight. Whew, my goodness. See? I knew I should have wrote this down. Just wasted like five minutes. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. 
was like, man, that's a little too close. All right, we'll get her eventually, I guess. So again, we're using not the paired holes, but the holes that's got the kind of gap between them. Oh, right. can't wait to see Frank the turkey. I got a turkey attachment yesterday. I want to try and make. I'll probably do it on my page though. What I'm trying to do, I think maybe the daisy chain with it. Attempt the daisy chain. Anyway. So I got some purdy ribbon, I think, that will be really cute. Okay, so again, we used row five paired holes, but we used every other one. Or shoot, row two. Here I go again. Row two. Every other set of paired holes. I'll get it eventually. Row four, we're using the gap that's between the paired holes. So the ones with the bigger gap. Not the ones close together, but the ones with the bigger gap. All right. Try this again. Here, y'all. <laughs> okay. Now it's not so clustered in there. You can see everything. I was like, wait a minute, that is really close. And when I went to put it together a while ago, it wasn't close like that. Okay. All right. I'll grab these. And it's going to be just a little tougher to get it zip tied because where I'm using. the shared holes what they're called just now get me the shared holes and of course that's going to want to twist on you don't let it twist kind of keep it upright okay i'm gonna go in here The ruffle. Things not standing up so straight. Kind of fan it out. Okay, so. I'm here. Get a piece of cedar ready. I'm just going to go ahead and pop several of these off. All right. Hello, Miss Tracy. Um, I got it at Hobby Lobby. And like their pick section where they uh, have like all their, you know, pine picks and all their other good fun stiff right. I'm gonna get the zip tie in here so I know I have the right pieces all right so we're done blue so I need gold in the middle this time so I'll put that there there's a cedar Get it in there. And zip it tie. Mm 
like I said, it will be pretty fluffy. So you get in here and just work with your ruffle and get it to lay down. Just do like it did on the outside. Bring it over on top of the other if need be. Just adjust the ribbons. You won't see much of the mesh on the inner side, but that's okay. There's that. I'll go ahead and go from scratch showing you all. One. So, no, Miss Eva. Yeah, the Christmas section where they have like all the um all the picks, like um all the pine and like your little crystal doodads, your poinsettias, all that stuff. So. It's all in that section. So again, took the snow drift mesh, cut it 20 inches long. We're just gonna do the ruffle method, just accordion it. Put your thumbs in the back, bring your fingers, get to the end, make sure cut edges, whoops, cut edges are down. So All right, then we're just gonna bring it around, create us a nub, and you're gonna have some strings. Just take your scissors and whack them on. Just grab you a zip tie. And Use a glass cutter. No, I have not. I've seen a lot of pretty projects. <laughs> I've never used a glass cutter. Thank you, Eva. Let's try and get that fanned out a little bit. All right, and again, all my ribbon is one and a half inches. We're gonna use that. So last we done was gold in the middle, so we're gonna use blue in the middle. So we're just gonna lay our solid gold down. We're gonna put our blue over your top. And like I said, I put it about a quarter of the ways, but a good way to um, gauge it is on your dovetails. Put the edge of this right in the middle of the dovetail on that one. Can y'all see that? So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm right in the middle. Again, these were cut 14 inches. This one, I'm just gonna lay right in the middle of both. So just right on top in the middle. And just grab them all up. Fold them over to where all the edges meet so you find your middle. Just kind of squish it down. Fold them back over. There's your center, and that's where you want to just accordion that. Bring it around, make a V, make sure they're kind of even. If they're not even, all you gotta do is adjust down here one way or the other. And you will get it to where both are even. And then I'll just use one of the little rubber bands. Yeah, sorry, Elva. I just glance. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just glanced at there. So then there's our ribbon tails. So there's that. Grab one of our cedar pieces. Bring our board back over here. <laughs> That's Dario. 
And again, we're just going to take it, bring it right down over top. Of course, we will want to tuck that edge under. Let me grab this. I guess for the center, you could also cut your pieces shorter if you wanted, but I just went ahead with the same. It'll all scrunch in there. Like I said, just got to fan it out where it's not all poofed up in the middle. Make sure I got the right pieces for our... Again, don't let it twist over. You want to keep it standing up. And of course, I just pulled that right off there. That's all good. And then just tuck in behind the previous piece. Make sure all these pieces are good. missing because you're just going to end up having to do it all over again here in a minute. Once you get the sign on. Okay. So go ahead and grab a pre-made piece and we left off with blue. So we'll do gold in the middle because like I said I was alternating the main pieces. I guess you could also probably just do every other in here too, but I kind of wanted a little more than every other in the center. So. Alright. And just stick it down in your zip tie. Your little nubs, put them in there, grab our cedar piece, get it in there. And sit tight in. And just go back. a little bit. That side seemed to lay pretty good. Just work with it a little bit, y'all. Don't overthink it or anything. Go back and play with the ribbons once we get it all in here. Okay. Just these two. Just these two rows. All right. Grab another piece we pre-made. Need the blue. And we pull off some more of our greenery. Oh my goodness, a little tough to pull off, or you can cut them off, I guess, instead of pulling them off. Okay, so again, grab our ruffle that was cut at 20 inches, slide it down in here. Oop, I need to write, okay. There we go. Get it here. All right. Everything ready for your zip tie. Make sure I got the right spot. And 
on the right zip ties. Actually done that before. Went to zip them up and had the wrong zip tie ends. So there's that. And again, just come back here. Lays flatter than what you put it in there as. I don't want to all just kind of be there in the middle. Just with it a bit. Just fix the ribbons. I'll definitely have to go back and play with those once we get our sign on. Oh, same Tracy. I don't have anybody to craft with up here. I do, but ladies been going through the death of her daughter, so okay. So one more pre-made, and then we'll do the last two. I'll show you. How? Or do I need two more? Yeah, okay. Shoot. Wait a minute. Okay, so let me bring this back in. Put under the ribbons there. Sure, I got the right zip ties. And like I said, we got the sun one. I'll go back and fix all the ribbons and adjust them. And Again, just go back here. Um, fix your mesh to where it's not all bunched in one piece here. I'm going to go back and fix it before I put this on. Oh, you're welcome, Shirley. Can't wait to see you on Unique Wreath Creators with your lovely creations. That is the page where everybody does post their unique creation, unique in a creek wreath board creations, is Unique Wreath Creators. All right. Grab this. Join that page, and it's unique in the Creek Board Creations only on there. And again, at the end of the live, on the post for this live, I also have my affiliate link um, to use with Unique in the Creek. You'll get 5% off of your boards if you use my link and put five off boards in the code. So, uh, 
And like I said, when you go to ruffle this, you're going to have some strings. Just cut them off. And y'all, I don't fly, so there ain't going to be none of that getting together, flying. I, I don't fly. Like, um, just, nope. I can't be like in control, so I just, I don't fly, so <laughs> if I go somewhere I'm driving, like I just, I don't fly. That's why I don't go to these craft conventions and all that, so I just, nope. <laughs> I'm a chicken, I guess you can call me. <laughs> but I don't, nope, I don't do it, sorry. I'd love to craft with a bunch of you ladies. I really would, but I don't fly. Marianne's like, oh, we got this. We'll get you uh, a little tipsy and get you on a plane. I'm like, no, nah, it ain't happening. I don't care how tipsy you get me. It ain't, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> like, I, I just, mm -mm. nope, ain't gonna happen. Sorry. So, well, grab the ribbon. So let's grab our ribbon because I don't have any more pre made. All right, we done gold last time. So we need blue on the inside. And again, just lay your gold down, put your blue on top, make sure the edge is in the middle of your dovetail on the gold piece. And then I'll just lay this right in the middle on the top here. Bring it around where the edges meet. Fold it in half, that way you get your middle. Unfold it, and in that crease is where you want to scrunch your ribbon at. Then bring it around, and see how I brought it around and it's not even? So I'm just going to adjust down here at the bottom. So I get them even. Then just grab a rubber band. And how far am I from Massachusetts? Not too far. Until I get to the state line anyway. <laughs> Not too far. Don't fly either. It's not your favorite thing. I was too, but after first trip, I've been. Nah. Thank you. Well, even if I had a family emergency, it's quicker for me to drive home in the 10 and 11 hours because there are so many different layovers. I would, one thing had me going all the way out to Chicago and then coming back in to Charlotte, then to Charleston, West Virginia, and it was going to take me almost a day. So it's just easier to drive it. <laughs> way easier just to drive it. I'm in Vermont now. Believe you me, it's a whole different ball game up here. Yeah, I'm not far from Massachusetts. I mean, it's a little bit of a drive, but nothing, you know, <laughs> like going to West Virginia or Canada or anything. So, of course, I guess it depends on where you're at in Massachusetts, Diana. Okay, I'm a zip tie here. Alrighty. I'm gonna grab our ribbon. And then grab a cedar piece. Alright, and then 
zip tie it in there and then one more piece to go y'all uh, about 10 hours 10 and a half it ain't bad Drive, don't get me wrong, but it's not bad. I like traveling, but like I said, I don't like, um, I think that is a thing too, like riding in a plane, you don't get to see, um, stuff like you do driving. And I like taking pictures. Um, so there's been a lot of places like I'll see pull over, take photos. Randy actually here in the um, north has job with GE Aviation. And again, our mesh is cut to three inches. And press the owner ruffle. And you just make sure your cut sides are down on the bottom. All right, grab it, bring it around. Cut off some of these. Thank you. I love taking pictures. I have anxiety too. Like I said, it's a control thing for me too, I believe. It's a cedar. It's like a, a cedar pine. A cedar. You could use pine if you wanted regular, you know, kind of pine. I thought about using some, but I like the look of the cedar um, better just because it's more simple, I guess, and it kind of goes with the little kind of tree at the side of the building. To me, it just looked better. I tried the pine. Didn't care for it, so that's why I think I'm here and bringing this closer to me. Oh, and I gotta do this. All right. So we want our gold in the middle. So it goes on top. Man, I wish I had a direct flight, but it just don't happen. We even have an airport here in Rutland, but um, it's not, um, for bigger planes, it's like the little biplanes and all that stuff, so. Yeah, it's kind of like a soft plastic rubber, I don't know how to describe it, so. <laughs> but yeah. No, this isn't a kit, Ginger. Ah, and of course, rubber band breaks. Um, after the live on the post, you'll see, and of course at the beginning of the video, um, I tell you where I got everything, numbers for everything, um, so you can go back and watch or read the post and um, it'll show you everything that I'm using, where I got it, numbers, all that good stuff, so, but yeah. Hey, Cece! 
I'm, I'm getting there. We're almost done here. Um, took a little longer than anticipated, but we're almost done. I just gotta get this one in here and get everything to lay right. And, um, put the sign on and fluff some ribbons. Might have put too much here in the middle. Probably should have maybe done every other one, but I think it's going to be okay, though. Well, all right. I was going to say if we can find the other end of the zip tie, maybe. Thank you. I want to stand up so I can look at it a little better. It's a large board. Okay, so get back in behind here. And flatten our ripple out here. There we go. And then fix our ribbons. They're all kind of laying right. They're not all bent up. These ones separated out a little bit. It has a mind of its own on this piece. There we go. Some of these laid pretty good, but then others just didn't want to lay right at all. Of course, I'll probably go back and mess with them even more here. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I'll say. Now I'm going to, on row five, we're gonna put our sign, um, or maybe even row four, actually. So, just gonna get our sign. Get some pipe cleaners. Stick on it. Give it a couple of twists. Right. And so yeah, they'll probably go in row four instead of row five, y'all. So let me go ahead. Turn it up here. Get them started down through. Of course the pipe cleaners are gonna grab everything. Right. We'll just turn it over and just pull till you feel the tight. Like, don't pull it tight, tight, but first we're just gonna push it 
Down in the pipe cleaners, back down in the hole. Once you get untwisted. The sign is eight inches for this one. Okay. So again, I will go back through. Okay, let's move it a little bit. And I will go back through and, of course, adjust the ribbons so where they all look right and all that. Fix some of the mesh. See a piece right here it needs some work on it. But there we go, y'all. Hello, Brian. How are you, sir? Go ahead and put our hang hanger on our zip tie hanger and do that while I'm standing here that way it'd be easier for me to hold okay so let me bring you all up hey and back up to where um hmm. of course there we go get the ring light off but there it is you can't really see the sparkly sparkly of the gold but it is really sparkly it's really pretty um there we go bring it up y'all can see the sparkle on it i just want to kind of keep it simple wanted the sign to kind of speak for itself so Thank you, everybody. It did really turn out really pretty. I think I got the bottom a little too tight, so I'm going to have to go back and release that a little bit because it's when you look at it, you can tell it's pulled a little too tight for the bottom. So I'll go back and fix all that. So, yay. thanks for joining me, you guys, and I will see you. Watch out, bug. Oh, you want to come up here? Um, I will see you guys. Oh my goodness, not next Tuesday, but Tuesday after next. Um, not sure um, what I'll be doing then. It's hard to tell, but um, Rough River Reese on Etsy. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. So, okay, um, I'm going to let y'all go because somebody's begging for my attention here. Um, and uh, I will see you Tuesday after next, y'all. Thank you.